The great Canadian band Rob McConnell and the Boss Brass from a CD called Brassy and Sassy. Don Thompson featured on piano and Bill Evans' composition very early. Before that, Denny Zeitlin and Triste here on Jazz Unlimited with Paul Anthony, part of Society Bites Radio, part of the Radio Air Network family. As I said, this is uh, July 4th week. We live in the greatest country in the world. Uh, Some people don't think that, but uh, I certainly do. And I thought we'd pay tribute to this great country by playing a couple of patriotic tunes, but done by jazz people. One of those tunes is the tune America. And Vaughn Nark, very fine trumpet player, recorded that. I spoke to him earlier today about how that tune ended up on this CD and how it came about. I'm on the line with Vaughn Nark, a fellow I knew when I used to travel with the Airmen of Note, for which he played for over 20 years as a career guy there, but is one of the great trumpet players. He played lead trumpet on that band for most of that time he was there and has appeared with everybody, a special friend of Dizzy Gillespie, etc. And I'm here because he recorded an album called Panorama, on which he included the patriotic tune America and This being July 4th week, I wanted to include it on the show, but I wanted Vaughn to tell you himself how that came about. Vaughn, welcome. Thank you, Paul. It's wonderful to touch base with you again. Uh, Our music is very indebted to uh, all that you've given it for many, many years. You're one of our very, very special people, and I wish our music had more people like Paul Anthony. At any rate, uh, America, uh, that's an arrangement by uh, Mike Crotty, who used to be the uh, Airman of Notes Chief Arranger. Mike now has the jazz department at Phoenix University. And uh, at any rate, we would always play that many times when we were on the road. And when I started to record under my own name, I wanted to certainly include it for obvious reasons. I mean, especially... uh, I mean, we're going through a particularly difficult period of time here now in our nation, but still, uh, I believe our nation is the finest nation that's ever been and the finest nation that'll ever be. There are no lines trying to get out of America, but there are thousands of people still trying to come here. So uh, that particular chart, kind of a Ray Charles kind of a feel to it. I wanted to, uh, naturally, it's a big band arrangement, and... uh, when your listeners hear the entire thing, go hear the brass section. There's, and I wanted to make sure I uh, I got along and interpreted well with the other brass players because we have three trombone parts, two baritone horn, three trumpet parts plus the solo. So I decided the best way to do this is for me to do all of them. So I stacked everything and put all this together. I did the narration and the vocal, and it came out pretty well. And uh, I'm very proud of it, and I hope your listeners certainly enjoy it. like to dedicate this next piece to all the men and women, past and present, whose great sacrifices have given us the wonderful freedoms we enjoy in the finest nation on earth, the United States of America. America, America, 
That's it, man.
our Maybeck Hall Performer of the Hour, and that is Buddy Montgomery, who is the youngest of the Montgomery brothers from Indianapolis, Indiana. And there was Wes, and then Monk, who was a bass player, and Buddy, who was a piano player and a vibist. And that was his contribution to the Maybeck Hall series, number 15, solo piano at the Great Hall, Maybeck Hall in Northern California. On Jazz Unlimited with Paul Anthony, part of Society Bites Radio, part of the Radio Ear Network family. Since everybody's doing tribute bands now, you know, we have America, we have the Grateful Dead, although they're still hanging around, even at 75, I guess. But a lot of tribute stuff going on, Elvis Presley, etc. Why not pay tribute to jazz people like Art Blakey? And who better to do it than Clayton Cameron, who himself is a drummer, He's put together some good people here to do some of the tunes that really made uh, Blakey's group popular. This is one written by Curtis Fuller, who was the trombone player at one time with Blakey and the Messengers. Bob Shepard featured on tenor, Gil Castellanos on trumpet, and Cameron himself on drums with a rather long solo near the end of the tune. This is A La Mode. (laughs) 